Human Identity Space is a solo exhibition by Kent Ona at Terra Culture Gallery in Lagos. These works of art showcase how the Terra Culture Gallery in Lagos have been created by contemporary artist Kent Ona for a solo exhibition which examines the narrative behind a human identity and space. I'm taking the narrative from the point where we were pure energy to when we are born to the middle of life where we have the question, who are you? Because we have gone through life to the point of adulthood, so who really are you? That's the question that is probably in my mind that I want people to pay attention to. Why? Because there's so much emphasis on the human body. And this is the cause why we're having so much focus on materialism. Now, materialism is actually the cause for the crisis we're having in the world today. So I'm drawing our attention to that fact that the too much focus on our human body is taking, derailing the human identity, okay? And for those who are able to make it to the evening of life, they have so much to share with us. Our sense of self-image has evolved. Some will say not for the better, some will say for the worse. Because now we, we deal with more of superficialities. We're more focused on um, external views of who we are rather than the internal, rather than how we see ourselves or what we feel about ourselves. So this exhibition is critiquing that new movement. It's critiquing and is uh, taking apart and dissecting that new development in the way human beings view themselves. Using unique creative instincts in his paintings, 27 of them provoke the human mind and questions what makes us human, as the artist is pushing for a shift from the aesthetic in a world which he says is becoming increasingly cosmetic. There is a connect between when you are a child and when you are old. As a child, everything was provided for you. Love, everything was provided. As people who make it to the evening of life, which is talking about old age, I do not subscribe to old people's home. We live in a community, and that is what I expect it to be when people are old, so that we rally around them and help them to leave because they have so much to share with us. So that is the simple narrative that I have that is the body of the works that you have here today. The artist feels everyone can do more to contribute to make the world a better place. That's why he seeks to explore these serious issues right from the title of the piece on display. You have an identity carrying the whole experience that you've had from childhood to adulthood. Now you're able to get to the evening of life where you are getting closer to your maker and your creator. Now, what is expected in the evening of life? much love from those who are younger so he can share the experiences with those who are still growing. Then, much experiences that he will pass on to us so that the coming generation will not make the mistakes of yesteryears. This performance has been incorporated into this exhibition to reveal what goes on in a creative's head before they start working or during the process. The performance is about the painter, right? We have sculptors, we have painters, we have all that. So the person doing the exhibit today is a painter. So it's just a replica of him being in the studio doing his work. So. Um, Sometimes while, while we work with artists, we go through the rough side and then the, the good side and all that. So you could see in the piece, the, the statue at a point in time 
got to like started moving and all that to tell you that not every painting not everything we do in life comes easy you don't get a statue and then you begin to begin to just paint it or, or sketch it so easily so it depends on how you see life it depends on how life comes as a painter you may have an image in your head or you may have a reference you're trying to use so but along the line when you're in your studio you're trying to paint when it comes to the fear of adding colors and things like that and sometimes we get distracted and you lose the original image the original plan you have for the painting you lose it along the line so as an artist you have to be disciplined and careful you don't lose your focus you don't lose your concentration on that particular piece so if you have another plan for another piece you can concentrate on that when the particular piece you are doing you have to concentrate, you don't lose the focus. So that's what that piece is actually talking about. times of either war or times of trouble or problems, one of the first things that are stripped away from human society are things that are considered as frivolities. I know art is usually seen as a frivolity or as a kind of uh, eccentric taste. So the art business has indeed suffered uh, due to the recent times that we find ourselves post-COVID, uh, for scarcity, diesel scarcity, things like that have really affected the market. But also, the arts will always survive because, as human beings, we need an outlet. We need a we need a we need a mood through which we can express ourselves and uh, we can have deeper conversations about existence. That's why philosophy will never cease to exist because we need to talk about humans, why we exist, um, the purpose of life, things like that. And art really gives you a soothing way to actually have very very deep and serious conversations. An artist's creative process is an ongoing conversation different strokes depending on the strokes, but it's one Kent owner believes should be used for the good of humanity.